folks, welcome back to Genshin Impact. And today we are going to be covering uh, <coughs> the Phantom Flow event. Challenge number two. And the reason why I'm actually here is because this is what I'm going to be actually doing August 31st for the most sum of the world, September 1st. That is when um, update 2.1 drops and the first banner that is coming out for said patch is the Raiden Shogun. It was either the one floor below with the um the mask the this top balcony, the top of the palace, or on the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. The truth be told, I know Yae is gonna be a playable character. I want to summon Yae at the omnipresent god because I'm looking at it, um the Raiden Shogun doesn't look like her. It, it resembles more of Yae, more like the anything. So I'm opting up to summon the Raiden Shogun up upon here, right where I'm standing. And when I, eventually Yae, I'm gonna be doing the omnipresent god statue. All right. Other than that, let's head to the... No, not that. This challenge here. So... I believe this challenge is called Sphere... Sphere Way to Heaven. Which is... Haha, <laughs> pun. I know. Haha, <laughs> Sphere Way to Heaven. <laughs> yeah. So... We are up against Electro Slimes, Electro Archers, Electro Healy Churls, Electro Simon Churls, and more than likely the um, Electro Axe um, Meta Churls. Alright, so let's go for the extreme. Yeah, so t 25 opponents, 3 crackling axe miniatures, no character deaths. So, I gotta make sure I keep my shield up at this time around. Don't go too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> ガンザン I guess it's unique that um, when it comes to Yoimiya stuff, her E ability doesn't really do much too much. I mean, I'm comparing this to Hutao that every time I use what my right trigger or E and for keyboard users. It doesn't. It does a lot of damage, but without the cost of the um of health, which is an interesting thing for Yoimiya. She has the same thing. Applies to the normal attack. Does a lot of damage at a higher talent level. But the thing is, you have a long, like, a six seconds of cooldown, so. Ideally, once that thing ends, switch to another character, and then that recharge, and then switch back to Yoimiya, and continue the assault. Okay, now let's go to the Okudin section. And we're going up against Treasure Hoarders and Mirror Maidens. Challenge for this. Defeat 20 opponents within the 180 seconds and two between mirror maidens. 
All right, let's get this started. ここ Okay. Let's go. And similar to Wutao, that our ult marks them that way they do take more damage from the um the attack. And like that, I'll get this challenge done. Oh, and done. Alright, that's it for this section. Done. 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 And done. Alright. So before I end up this short video, I want to do a artifact update on what's going to be going on to um, the Raiden Shogun. And it's subject to change unless I get better artifacts. So, at this moment right now, this is what I ha what Raiden Shogun may have on the time of the release. So, a decent 50% crit rate. Decent amount of crit damage. High energy recharge. A decent amount of attack, that especially with the um this. But so in terms of my plans for uh, the Raiden Shogun, it's banner. I'll be continuing to summon on the character banner up until I get C two Raiden Shogun, and the remaining will go towards the weapon. Which is the engulfing... Um, I don't know. It used to be called the Grass Cutter, but they, then they changed it to something else. Right, I'm pretty sure you can cha change it here. Mm. Okay, yeah. Here, I can check it here. It's called the... Ing where is it? Mm. Not there. Oh, here. Engulf engulfing Lightning. This is the pole arm that is going to be coming alongside with uh, the Raiden Shogun. So, my plan is... Summon for Raiden Shogun up to, to C2. Whatever remaining gems is left, I'll be pulling for the weapon. Oh, okay, there we go. So, yeah, that's my plan so far. Oh. 
terms of the artifacts, this is what I brought. I have so far. Again, subject to change. Ideally, I want to run a full set of the um, Emblem of the Severed Fate. So, in terms, I'm just right now, this is preliminary. If I can get artifacts like this, I mean, the. Shoot. The um, Severed Fate um, set. With the, the good crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, and attack stats, substats on all of these. I'll be good for the stuff. Other than that, yeah. That's what I'm running for preliminary set for set, um, artifact set for the Raiden Shogun. But again, I have plenty of time. Let's see. 10 days to um, improve the artifact set before Raiden Shogun's release. But other than that, um, I'll be recording again tomorrow for challenge number three of the stuff, which is called No Bars Can Hold Me. Okay, it doesn't show you the en um the enemies. All right, so I'll be doing another recording tomorrow, so I look forward to that. Other than that, I will see you guys all next time.